Rabbits have incredibly great senses, but their sense of smell is particularly strong. A rabbit's sense of smell is up to 20 times better than a human's. Rabbits sniff constantly, splitting their top lip while doing so. This enables a better reading of the sense in the air. Your rabbit is constantly checking for smells that warn of potential threats, such as predators. After all, rabbits are nose breathers. They breathe primarily through their noses. A rabbit will only try to breathe through its mouth if it's in distress. So, rabbits can sample the air around them very quickly. If you don't know what your rabbit likes, just try a few different smells to see which one gets the best response. Please subscribe, smash the like button, and hit the little bell for unlimited bunny content. Let's hop right into this video. Starting at number one, aromatic treats. We're talking banana, apple, carrot. These are the kinds of treats that send rabbits into a frenzy, mostly because rabbits are addicted to sugar. Kind of like humans. Guess we're not so different after all. But these treats are very sweet and pungent when you slice them, so they work great when trying to lure your rabbit over to you. They can be used to train your rabbits, tricks or commands, or used as bait to catch stray homeless bunnies. But remember to keep the sugar to a minimum as you don't want your bunny to get an upset stomach. One to two small pieces a day is acceptable. Next, we have other rabbits urine. One way to attract a rabbit almost immediately is for another rabbit's urine to be nearby. Yep, not even the rabbit itself, just their urine. This musk will ignite your rabbit's curiosity and compel them to explore the area, mainly because they want to make sure no other bunny is invading their territory. According to Dr. Kremples, the musk is made in specialized scent glands in the hindquarters, and this scent is a complex perfume of aromatics and pheromones, the hormones that trigger a reaction between animals of the same species. Dr. Kremples says that spaying and neutering likely does not fully shut down the musk production, but the mix of aromatics produced in the anal scent glands may change in composition. Next, we have their own waste. Okay, we can admit it sounds a little conceited and maybe not the most sanitary, but rabbits take comfort from the smell of their own urine and poop. It makes their area feel homey, like they've decorated with the most luxurious artwork, which is why you shouldn't clean out their litter box every day or constantly wash their favorite blankie. Give it two to three days instead so that they have a chance to make it smell like them. You can always leave a few little poops here and there to remind them that's where they need to go potty. Hay. What can we say other than hay is 80% of a rabbit's diet. It's basically the main source of their nutrients, mostly fiber. Hay is sweet and aromatic, and some people think it smells like tea. There's different kinds of hay, such as timothy, oat, orchard, all which have similar scents. Notice your rabbit get really excited when you replenish the hay for their litter box. Roses. Just like sweet foods, sweet smelling flowers will attract a rabbit as well. Roses especially will be a rabbit magnet. They will eat them fresh or dry. But dried roses have a nice crunchiness to them. Make sure the roses are pesticide free and consider giving them just the petals so that the thorns aren't a cause for concern. Next we have you. Yep, you. If you have forged a bond with your rabbit, they'll really enjoy your scent. It's one of the ways your rabbit recognizes you. Your scent is considered a source of comfort, pleasure, and familiarity. As a result, don't be surprised if your bunny lies on your unwashed laundry. Your rabbit will also know if you've been somewhere else based on how you smell. So remember to always wash your hands if you've interacted with other animals before touching your bunny. Next, we have herbal mixtures that include chamomile, dandelion, or valerian. 
Chamomile is well known for its calming properties and also helps support normal digestive function, providing a natural appetite stimulant in times of illness. And valerian is a safe, non-addictive relaxant that reduces tension and promotes restful sleep. Many of these herbs are what your rabbit's ancestors would have eaten in the wild, so it's all very familiar to them. Next, we have untreated wood or bark. The smell of wood is rich and yummy to rabbits. One of their favorite pastimes is to chew. So it's important to provide your rabbit with a constant supply of fibrous material to chew on, and twigs and branches make a cheap and easily replenished source of roughage. Chewing off the bark and even eating the soft wood inside helps wear down their teeth that grow consistently. This roughage is also good for their digestion. And finally, it helps keep them amused, out of trouble, and away from your wooden furniture. Next, we have pellets. Lots of buns go nuts for pellets, but sadly, the history of pellets began in meat production as a cheap way to fatten up rabbits on meat farms. So technically, they weren't all that healthy for them. But nowadays, a lot of timothy pellets, which are made from timothy hay, can provide a balance of nutrients your bunny needs that they might not be getting in a particular bale of hay, or nutrients they might not even be getting in their veggies. Just remember, small quantities is the key, and don't make pellets the main dish in your bunny's diet, as it can lead to obesity and other health problems. And finally, leafy greens. Rabbits love their fresh veggies. Fresh greens are very fragrant to rabbits, and adding fresh foods provides a variety of additional nutrients, textures, and tastes to enrich a rabbit's diet. After all, leafy greens make up about 10 to 15% of your rabbit's diet. And everybody has a favorite green, whether it's lettuce, basil, cilantro, or something else. And you can bet your bottom dollar they will go absolutely wild as soon as you pull the veggies out from the fridge and put them into their bowl. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Our question of the day is, what is your rabbit's favorite scent? I can tell you right now, Lennon's is banana. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you later. Mm -hmm.